Hey there, this is Akshay Nandan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we are going to talk about what are the free courses in the market about prompt engineering, right? So first of all, I'm going to keep this video short and concise and point to point, right? So first of all, without like before going on to the main stuff, let's first see what is prompt engineering, right? So as the name defines, you have to engineer your prompt so perfectly that you get the best output from the model, right? Here, model can be ChatGPT, right? So let's say that I say write about France, write about France. So, th th so this prompt is one prompt that I've given to the chat GPT and it is going to give me some information about France in any order. It can first talk about population. It can first talk about cuisine or job opportunities or their culture, anything, right? Their history. But let's say I'm a company and I'm just, uh, I just want to fetch some information from the model, right? And you know that chat GPT or the open AI APIs are paid, right? They they are paid for the tokens that you purchase, right? So you can't just waste your tokens. You can't just waste your money on the unnecessary data, on generating unnecessary data from the chat GPT or from the open AI API, right? From the model. So what companies have to do is, that's why they pay to these engineers so high that they engineer, and they, that they engineer the prompt in such a way that you get the best relevant information, right? From the model so that less tokens are used so that they have to invest less money on these APIs, right? So you have to engineer a prompt in such a way that you get the best relevant information. So now if I say that I'm a company and I just want to fetch the population data, cuisine data and job opportunities data from about France, right? So what I'll do is I'll write, tell me about France, about France in this order. I am not a prompt engineer, but as far as I've learned this field, so I see what I'm going to do right now in this order and I'm going to use triangular brackets and just going to give it some order, right? So first of all, I want to get it, get the information about cuisine and then I'm going to hit enter. So this is the prompt that I've given. Yes, this is a very, very basic example in actual stuff, in actual, uh, like in actual companies, the prompts are well more engineered, right? Now you can see I'm getting information in this order. I'm getting information about the French cuisine. Then I'm going to get information about population. And then I'm going to get information about the job opportunities in France, right? Now, only these fields, uh, only these three topics are required about France. So that's why only these three topics are generated. So less tokens are used, no irrelevant history or some other information is generated. So I've saved my tokens, right? And then I can just give this output to the user of my company. Yes. So now what are the uh, free courses that you can actually opt for? So these free courses are one number one course, which I'll recommend you is deep learning dot ai just go to this website and go to uh enroll for free there are courses uh short courses and yes this is the one chat gpt prompt engineering from for developers right it's not necessary that you should be working in a company to learn this field it's okay that if you're an individual and you just you just chat with chat gpt a lot that's why also for that also you need to give proper prompt so that you get the best output right so this is a course course and you can enroll into this course and you can start learning second course is by coursera just go over here and this is the course prompt engineering for chat gpt and this course is by instructor dr jules white and this is a beginner level course approximately 18 hours of content is there about prompt engineering right so i think that you can become a master of uh, prompt engineering, uh, not just beginner. And this course, I guess it's a lot, It's it contains a lot of content. So before I finish this video, I just want to tell you that there will be articles which says that the annual salary is reaching up to two crores or 330K uh, US dollars, so that's fine. So I just want to say that don't get affected by these articles, it's fine. It's a higher salary or it's one salary. So when you consider, when you consider salary data, you have to consider a lot of population. Then you can find out an average salary. So this is it. Till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.